And we're back from the new and improved man cave. I am Chris. I am Mark. Together we form the Grillable Hoax. And right here, we'll talk for like 10 seconds here. So I'll show a painting of the new man cave. You'll see Star Wars stuff, Titan stuff, all the stuff that I like. Because this is my man cave and I can be selfish like that and just put stuff I like in it. So this, and we're all fancy now. We have a camera set up to record the Incredible Hulk that mm. feeds into some monitors. We can see ourselves. Right. Everything's fancy schmancy now on yes. the Incredible Hoax. Yes. Moving up in the world. We're in the 21st century. Well, well welcome. They're really at the very end of the 20th, to be <laughs> gracious, but okay. It's like the very, it's almost 21st, but like, anyway, I digress. All right, so the NFL draft just happened tonight. And to yes. remind you folks that might be new to the show, we only talk about the Titans and Cowboys because the rest of the NFL can pound it. So with that, your thoughts on NFL mm -hmm. Draft 2017. Okay, Titans had two picks yes. in the first round. Uh, the 5th and 18th overall. I liked what they did. What, what kind of was bizarre about it was I wanted them to have a cornerback and a wide receiver. Take those. And the order I thought they'd do it, they actually did the reverse. But I don't care. At the end of the day, they got what I wanted. They got those two positions, and the receiver I really wanted them to have, I didn't mm -hmm. think would be available, but they got Corey Davis. It was earlier than what I thought, but hey, that's mm -hmm. fine. They, ultimately, you got the guy I, th I think would be good for that team, and uh, Adoree Jackson, the cornerback, I think is going to be a really good pick, too, and I think uh, a help to their special teams if they want to go that way. Sometimes teams are a little nervous about having uh, a player do two right. things, but uh, if they go that way, he should have some mad skills about returning that football. And um, and then, uh, well, we're, we're on Titans. We'll do Cowboys in a minute. Well, maybe he'll be what Pac-Man Jones was supposed to be, right? minus all the insanity that is Pac-Man Jones. Pac-Man Jones came out, and he was going to be a great return man, a good corner. And there was a Giants game that we came from behind at 21 points. And to be honest with you, if you go back and look at that game, it was basically him and Steve McNair alone won that game. Mm -hmm. Pac-Man Jones. So maybe we'll finally get the guy we are supposed to get all those years ago that's a return guy, shutdown guy, without the yeah. scandal and heartache. Right. Uh, but real quick, John Robinson, I love my GM so far, so good. Following the new model, the correct model, the... Patriots model, right. uh, Indy of uh, Peyton Manning model, drafting players, this Pittsburgh model, drafting players who actually are like they are that they fit that mold. This yeah. is what they do. They meet the physical specs. They have plenty of experience in college. They you know at least yeah. a, a year, more like two year starter a lot of times in the players he looks at. Uh, you know, multi-year starters, I should say, not two years, but multi-year starters. Yeah. Not just like, oh, they started the last five games, you know, did really well, was a flash of man. So he stayed that model, proven, got football players, you know, balanced, you know, not head cases, balanced guys, hardworking guys, solid mm -hmm. guys. So I love what he's doing. We're getting more of what we got last year. Um, I expected like you, corner to first, then receiver. Yeah. But in hindsight, it was a genius move. You were like, oh my God, he should have took Corey Davis that soon. And now in hindsight, it's like, oh my God, that's genius because there was yeah. a run on the receivers. Oh, and there totally was, yeah. So, um, gosh, I don't know how he knew that, but thank God. He dodged a bullet. I'm glad they knew it. According to Corey Davis' stats, I mean, a three year all. First American all team, whatever guy. So, yeah, yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. Mariota needs some targets. They need a, a corner desperately. So, maybe we got the best of both worlds. And they didn't reach, they just got solid guys. And that should set you up for the Dallas Cowboys. Okay, yeah. Um, they decided to stay put. They've had a habit in years past of reaching, particularly in the second round, where they've reached for players. Who had a like failed drug test and other uh, injury issues Injuries. And, and, well, and then the undrafted guy that was uh, that was a possible murder suspect, but <laughs> turns out it was, he was definitely not the suspect. Right. Yeah, they've they've reached on some guys, man. Yeah, he's Gamble, Jerry Gamble's. Yeah, well, more times than not, of late they've lost on those deals. Right. So here they kind of stayed put, 
and took a solid player uh, and pass rusher Taco Carlton, mm -hmm. and um, it's a solid pick. It's not a wow pick. It's a solid pick. Right. And somebody like Tony Tolbert, if if you longtime Cowboys fans fans remember him from the the Jimmy Johnson era, he was a solid anchor to that defense. Right. You know, and that's fine. If he can be that, if he can at least be Tony Tolbert, then this has been a really terrific pick. Um, I just think because they've missed recently with those second round pass rushers, yeah. we're just kind of jaded. So we hope this guy will be better, but their recent history picking pass rushers has been off. So I'm just crossing fingers, but everything I hear and study about Taco Carlton says that this guy should be um, should be solid. Well, uh, solid. You know, we were talking about that before we started doing the show. Sometimes solid's good enough. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, I don't follow the pre-draft things like you do. I don't really follow college sports like you do, um, or college football rather. Anyway, so like whenever the draft comes. I'm always the guy that researches after the fact. So what I'll do tonight is read about Corey Davis and, 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 and Taco and all this stuff. I'll read about the night and just, oh, I'll catch up with who they are. So, you know, from what I saw on on TV, there's no real wow factor, like you said. But, you know, sometimes solid is enough. Sometimes, right. and, you know, I mean, let's go back. I mean, I hate to be always bringing up the Patriots, but they're kind of they're the model for success in the last you know fifteen years or whatever. Mm -hmm. And that first Super Bowl, there was no wow guy. No, I, not a one. No, you know, um, um, uh, Baltimore when they won their Super Bowl with with Ray Lewis, that first year it was Ray Lewis was the only wow guy really. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. I mean, if I, unless I'm remembering it something correctly, I mean they had a solid running game with Jamal Lewis. And uh, I know that's quite a few years ago. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, you know, Green Bay definitely had some wild guys. New Orleans definitely had some wild guys. But uh, help Denver of just two years ago, I mean, other than that pass rush, definitely on offense was nothing that was going to... Oh, no, no. No world beaters on their own offense. No. Anyway, my point is, I'm going a long way around the bend to say sometimes solid is enough. And maybe maybe that's exactly what the Cowboys need is just yeah. one more solid link in the chain. Well, you yeah, know, that's all. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, less gambling, and I'll take solid. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if 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 five years from now he's a solid player, right? And those gambles the last few years are gone. Well, hell yeah, you take the solid. Well, player. the last three quote pass rushers they've taken: Randy Gregory, gone again. It's going to be two seasons in a row he's going to miss. For, yeah, for pot, drug right. Test. pot, right? Yeah. And then uh, Demarcus Lawrence has, has failed uh, at least a couple. Mm -hmm. And he's missed, I think, a total of four games mm -hmm. and battled injury. Mm -hmm. And then Jalen Smith has yet to play it down. And, and he's only, like, this week, is, oh, he feels his toes. This guy may never play it down in the NFL. Ouch. So, so if I seem under, over, underwhelmed about... This. But you have reason to be. You know, I have reason to be. But on the bright side, Jerry will be able to go crazy with merchandising, selling stuff with taco on it. And so I expect Cowboy Stadium to be renamed Taco Casa. Well, I don't know if I'm really ta Taco Casa. As long as he's Taco Bueno, then we'll be, I'll be fine. Yes. And definitely don't be Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. All right, well, we hope you like the new man cave. Maybe we'll, we have versatility in here. We might yes. actually shoot from different angles in here. Yeah. Because we got some pretty cool walls. This is the, the max station behind us here. Yes. Maybe we'll do uh, in a future episodes. Yes. Because each wall is a little different. Because you got kind of like Seth Corner over here. Yeah. And uh, an old school Atari over there. Yeah, I got there, Atari so. station stuff over there. And then I got, I don't know, it's just cool. Basically, my deal is like I just wanted to surround myself with the stuff I like when I do my work. So it's all a creative, weird Zen thing, I guess. Yeah. Speaking of weird and creative Zen. <laughs> hey, another awkward outro. Yay! That's what we specialize in. <laughs> Bye.